Hi everyone, it's Elite with another process video and I am using the October Hip Kit Club Kits. Um, this is the second project that I am showing um, on my channel, um, but this, like, the second project using the October kits, but this is the first uh, project I created with them. And um, yeah, it was really fun to make and I think really simple and probably a design that you can do over and over again and get completely different looks uh, just because you're using different products. So I really love the papers for this month. Um, I love everything that uh, like all of Maggie Holmes's collections and uh, there were also some really beautiful uh, papers from Ellie Studio um, from one of their newer collections I think it's called Sycamore Lane and um, yeah and it's not just that I love all the papers this month I'm pretty much love like both sides of all the paper um, which is great because <laughs> that means I have lots of options um, but they all go really really well together so um, that's really great and I'm just using three papers here and I'm using both sides so I get a total of six patterns and I'm kind of staying with um, this color scheme of oranges and yellows and pinks um, my favorites and yeah just having fun with all those uh, patterns and I cut them kind of into yeah I guess some sort of like banner shapes and I adhered them um, not exactly straight I wanted them to be like a little bit offset and just to get that more um, yeah like not so organized more like this you know um, layered like haphazard kind of look I don't know um, but I, I didn't want it completely straight and after I adhered all these um, strips I guess banners whatever um, I used the star stencil from my favorite things that came with the color kit add-on and some of the texture paste that also came in that um, add-on and I added some little stars in areas where I knew the photos will probably not be and I just used the texture paste like an embellishment like the stars they just look like yeah like an embellishment and I, I really love this look I love using um, texture paste or molding paste on top of um, like more than one layer of paper uh, I really love how that looks so I made sure to position the stars on top of like you know where two papers meet and I just think it looks um, really fun like that and it's really pretty and the texture paste um, I added kind of a, a thin layer so it's not uh, completely opaque and you can still see the pattern through it it just looks really interesting it's such a small detail but it adds so much and the rest of it came like rather quickly I grabbed three photos I printed them with my Canon selfie they are all um, with the frame uh, 4 by 4s and I just took these photos um, like the other weekend when we were walking around town and they had this um, like carousel I don't know how you call it in English, like a merry-go-round or something like that. Um, and it looked a little bit scary. It was quite kind of fast. Um, but my daughter likes anything fast and my husband is the same. And I get dizzy from sitting in a car. So <laughs> that's kind of their thing. And um, yeah, and my mom asked her, like, aren't you like you're not scared or anything and she said something I, I'm 
like I'm not sure I'm translating it perfectly, but something like um, when you're scared, then you're when you're scared before you do something, uh, then you're braver, something like that, or you become braver. And it was like so so sweet because she's only five years old, and I really loved how um, she said that and. I don't know, I think maybe she was a little bit scared, but she was totally psyched about uh, going up on that thing. So they went two times, and <laughs> they really enjoyed it, and I got dizzy watching them. But what are you going to do? <laughs> so, um, yeah, and I added some of the uh, pieces from the open book die cut uh, package that has like a million die cuts. I, I've now made think three layouts. I, I just finished my third layout. Um, the second one uh, was posted on Saturday for the online crop and there's also a video for that so you can check it out. Um, and I've used like these die cuts on every one of these three pages and I still have a ton. So um, I'm really wondering if I will be able to kill that <laughs> uh, die cut package but I'm gonna do my best. Um, yeah, so I used a few of those, and then those gorgeous, gorgeous gold, uh, like glitter thickers that are just so perfect as a title and embellishment. Um, I used the captured memories and a few of the hearts, and that was pretty much it for this page. So really fast and a really fun way to use pattern, and a great way to use scraps but also I think a good page to start a new kit with so you know you can um, really enjoy all these patterns and um, yeah be brave cut into some of those 12 by 12 and then um, you'll have an easier time using them I think and yeah other than that um, I'm really enjoying uh, the kit and I here I just added a little bit of the texture paste, so a little touch of that um, like mixed media, but I will get, um, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Like I will use more and more stuff on my next layout. This was just like I really wanted to show you how you can, even if you like cleaner scrapbooking, if it, even if you don't like to put gesso and paint and all that stuff. Um, this is like a really good, clean <laughs> way to yeah add something really interesting to your page, and you can use any stencil you have. Um, I really like uh, small patterns, um, especially when I use them like this. And besides my YouTube channel, you can also find me on Facebook, uh, where I am on the Hip Kit Club member forum Facebook page, um, and also on the Nicole's, Nicole Jones 911 uh, Facebook page and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're enjoying your kids and have a great great week and I'll see you soon bye <laughs>